Bingo. All right, hello, old painting America. Now, reiterate what I was talking about before, why I got all this stuff hanging on my ladder. A, only four inch roller, so I can back roll all my work. See that? Big little fat guy. I caught that hot dog roller. I make skinnier ones too, but anyways. And on this cut pot is just your standard oil brush, three inch sash to get in all my tight areas. Important. And then this I'm spraying with, okay? But I'm spraying and back rolling, so I'm basically just using a sprayer to coat with, and that way I don't have to dip all the time, you know? So anyway, the so first thing, first move I like to do is get the hard stuff out of the way first, which means cutting in next to this pretty green fascia on this very expensive metal roof that I cannot get painted. So what you do is, I got a little bit of paint in there, and you just carefully pop this up. I'm basically just trying to get like a quarter inch underneath that flashing is my uh, purpose here. And then that way, the flashing does its job by not letting water into the wood. And here's one of them woodpecker holes. And I'll talk about that in a second. So this is kind of boring, but uh, a necessity. That's why you got to carry all these tools with you. Push it into that wood good. And about to right there. And these little bees flying around me, they're not going to hurt you. This is where they live. And uh, you just make friends with them, you can pet them. <laughs> Anyways, now, that's the cut work I had to get out of the way. Okay, mission accomplished. So now what I'll do is I'll take this. Instead of 210 tip, I'm not going to bore you with all the numbers. It's just real fine. Hey, buddy, what are you doing, pup dog? So you just kind of spray on a downward angle to keep that overspray away from that pretty green roof. And you probably think, well, that looks terrible. It would be terrible if you left it that way. So this is what this guy does. You just push it in. And you push it into every, now this is important. When I paint, I like to push it in to every nook and cranny. I don't want the weather getting to this wood anymore, okay? In 20 years, if it wants to get into the weather, well then, we'll revisit that in 20 years if I'm still alive. But what we do is, we do that. That seals it up tight, like so. And I am a little OCD, so I like to do a good job. And you get into these cracks sometimes where that roller won't reach. I don't want any weather getting in there. I want that wood sealed up tight. So, fascia, done. At least done with the prime coat. Most important coat. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed the paint onto this here. This is called the soffit. I'm going to feed it onto the soffit. And I like to spray up on an angle where it comes in so I can get all them nooks and crannies. Like so. And if you don't want to use a sprayer because you're intimidated by it, buy it, don't. Just put paint in this and roll it all out. Brush and roll it. You can do that too. Just takes a little longer. So as you can see, I'm putting a nice film on there. Spray right up into that. Careful not to shoot my overspray over there. Because that'd make a mess. And then you take Mr. Hot Dog and you just roll all that out. And what it does is it seals that wood up nice and tight. Now, this is this is probably not cedar. I don't know what this softened material is. It may be just a plywood. But this is cedar. But either way, you're sealing everything up perfectly tight. So you just hot dog roll that out. Everywhere you sprayed. Make sure you don't see any bare wood. Alright, like so. I don't know if you can film this, but behind here are holidays. Holidays are spots that are missed. 
and uh because i don't want to spray out into the world here and get over spray everywhere i'll just fill it in with this just kind of get it solid that real quick all right there there's no more all brownie looking wood it's all nice and... okay let's revisit these woodpecker holes real quick highlighted woodpecker